I really wish there had been a video like this when I was like in the earlier stages of med school when I was struggling to find which books to use for which courses. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and I post medicine and lifestyle related videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time, please do subscribe and make sure to watch all my other videos. And if this isn't your first time, thank you so much for coming back again. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys some of the books that I found to be most useful in the most important courses of med school. I really hope that this video will be helpful to people out there. And some people have requested this video, so I hope that you guys will enjoy it too and that it will be useful as I really wish, like I said, I had had a video like this when I was going through the earlier stages of med school. As a med student, it's really important to use more than just one book and to find a book that actually explains stuff to you in the best way possible. So you'll find that some books that people recommend and are the like most famous books, you don't actually really like those books. And that's happened to me, but I did, however, find for all my courses books that worked for me and that helped explain things in a lot like simpler ways. And I also did use some other books that a lot of people also agreed that those were the useful books. Generally speaking, these books are the ones that made my med school life a lot easier, a lot less complicated. Although most of the books that I've used are ebooks, I do have some hard copies here with me. I generally would rather have ebooks over like hard copies of books because I can just have all the books on my iPad and carry that with me everywhere I go rather than having a whole stack of books like this to go with me wherever I'm going and actually in med school probably something like this but anyway for each book I mention I will either show you the hard copy itself or if I use it as an ebook I will leave a picture of the cover page or title page somewhere on the screen so that it's easier for you guys to find them rather than if I was just sitting here reading out the titles to you so excuse me for looking up and down a lot in this video it's mostly because I'm reading the names of the books from here and I wrote them down so that it would be a lot quicker and easier and secondly excuse me for mispronouncing some of these names some of them aren't English and even some of the English ones are hard to pronounce so yeah so the first subject is histology and for that one I used Jen Kera's basic histology which you can see this is the title and yeah this book was really useful it's very illustrative and explains things and has pictures and all that. For biochemistry, I used Lippincott's Biochemistry and I also used Harper's Illustrated Biochemistry and Textbook of Biochemistry for Medical Students by D.M. Vasudevan. For anatomy, Netta's Atlas of Human Anatomy is the best thing to ever happen to a medical student, honestly. And I think they also have an app on the App Store for Netta's Anatomy, so you can check that out. This here, Grey's Anatomy. This is actually the only book I use for anatomy, like for the actual reading and understanding of the concepts in anatomy. For systemic and regional anatomy, this was great. I think every medical student will agree with me that for physiology, Guyton and Hall was just the best. For immunology, I used Kubis or Kubis immunology book. All of these books are going to be on the screen. So if I mispronounce the surnames or the names, whatever, just read it as you think it is supposed to be read from what you see on the screen. For pathology, there are two main books that I used that were the best thing ever. That was Robbins and also Fundamentals of Pathology by Usain Satar. Since the time I did pathology in second year, Till now, I always see medical students abroad in, in SA, in the US, in the UK, all of them post this book, so that should tell you how good the book is. Microbiology, I use clinical microbiome made ridiculously simple and textbook of microbiology by Kenneth J. Ryan. As for pharmacology, I feel like it's so important to have a good book because pharmacology is one of the most fundamental and most important like concepts in medicine so you really do have to understand that because in fourth year and fifth year in the hospital everywhere in medicine you're going to need to prescribe medicine and or understand the reason why you subscribe to the reason why you're prescribing that medicine and it's so important to find a book that actually explains those terms and concepts and principles in a simple way that you will understand so some of my favorite books from pharmacology were Lippincott's Pharmacology and also Katzing and Trevor's Textbooks of Pharmacology. 
so for clinical diagnosis or physical diagnosis whichever you guys call it I used McLeod's, McLeod's clinical examination and also Schwartz's book of physical diagnosis. So those two were really, really helpful. And I would suggest that you get both of them actually, not just one. And for ECG, I used ECG Made Easy and Learn ECG in a Day. For lab medicine or lab diagnosis, I used laboratory medicine, the diagnosis of disease in the clinical lab, and that book was really helpful. This is the book that I use for radiology, and it's Learning Radiology, Recognizing the Basics by William Herring. For surgery, there's four main books that I switch in between. I switch between these books depending on the system, like if it's the if it's neurosurgery or if it's cardio or if it's um, general surgery, I switch in between them because I feel like some of the other books explain the other systems better than the others and that's why I told you guys in medicine I don't just use one book because other books explain other things better than others. I use Manipal's Manual of Surgery, Current, Bailey's Textbook of Surgery and I also used Schwartz Principles of Surgery. So for internal medicine, I used Current, Medical Diagnosis and Treatment, Davidson's and I also use Kumar and Clark. My favorite I'd say is a tie between Kumar and Clark and Davidson's because they're a bit simpler but Current does also have a shorter version. It just lists all the diseases and the main points you need to know. As for dermatology, I used this book. Unfortunately, I think this book might only be available in China uh, but I also used Clinical Dermatology by Carol Sutter. So for infectious diseases, I use Essentials of Clinical Infectious Diseases and I also use this book. If you're a medical student in China, these books are quite useful because the teachers, the lashes basically follow these for their PPTs and they also follow the books that look like this of which most of these books are adaptations of current the current series so like all the current books that I talked about medicine and surgery those are actually what this book is so for pediatrics Nelson's textbook of pediatrics and I also use the one that looks like this and for obstetric and for obstetrics and gynecology I used a lot of books I used 10 teachers Williams, um, Netter's, DC Dutter's textbook of obstetrics and gynecology. And I also use this, which is a comprehensive textbook of obstetrics and gynecology by Sadhana Gupta. I really like this book because it's not boring, basically. It's not boring to read. And it also has quizzes at the end of every section. And I feel like it's really important to find books that have quizzes and summaries at the end of every section because it lets you see what's actually important and the things that the key points that you need to remember. So for oral medicine or stomatology, I used Master Dentistry. Um, there's two books, book one and two, and we use book one. And for forensic medicine, I used Simpsons Forensic Medicine. So that's that for like the course books and the main books. As for like MCQs, tests, quizzes, and questions and stuff, there's three books that I suggest that you have to have to have to have. KD Tripathi of um, multiple choice questions for pharmacology. Kumar and Clark also has a book of cases for internal medicine. And there's a book called Medicine at a Glance by Patrick Davy. And there's a textbook itself. And there's also a book of just cases. I really, really, really suggest that you guys look for it and find it if you can. Then the other book of questions that I suggest you have is Harrison's Principles of Internal Medicine, Self-Assessment and Board Review. Um, and yeah, it just basically looks like this. I bought this one in China. And so it has Chinese written on the cover. But it's the same thing. On the inside, it's all English in case you're wondering. Yeah, and... This is really helpful. It has really hard questions. It has over, it has 1,100 review questions for internal medicine. And yeah, it's really good. Like half the time I can barely answer the questions, but when you actually start to understand the questions, that means you've done really well because these questions are actually really hard. For summaries, handbooks and all that, I'd suggest the Oxford handbook series, especially the one for internal medicine uh, or clinical medicine. And I'll also suggest the BRS for biochem and molecular biology and the one for microbiology and immunology. 
I would also suggest the Mind Maps for Medicine book. I'll leave a picture of that one on the screen. And the Case File series as well as the USLME books, obviously. Now that's that for the medicine. And for those of you in China, those of you that um, I posted a video where I talked about getting to AT and my HSK and a lot of people DM'd me asking me about tips for HSK and stuff. This is the book that I used to read for my HSK and prepare for my HSK exam. And this book basically has all the 1,200 words and characters that you need to know for HSK level 4. And the thing I like about this book is that it explains um, how, to, how each word is used in the test. And it also... Um, divides the book into 21 chapters so basically you're supposed to be able to do this whole book in 21 days and it goes from a to z so it kind of starts from hard and from easy and goes to hard so you kind of progress and i really like that because it makes it less stressful and painful you just follow the book literally from page one day one to page 20 like the last page which is day 21 and at the end of every chapter it also has a sample test using all the characters from that chapter and that's really helpful if you can cr like learn everything in this book you're guaranteed to pass your hsk you guys and apart from that i also did um tests online so those are all the books that i thought were really helpful in my medical school experience from year one to year four and i really hope that this will help you guys because like i said i really wish that someone had done a video like this when i was kind of going through those years so please do share this video with your friends and relatives or if you know someone who's doing medicine Please leave a comment if you have any other recommendations or you want me to share the books with you. You can also add me in on my social media and I will most certainly respond to you guys. I do reply all my comments and all my DMs eventually. Please like this video, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my goodness. In this video, I'll tell you all the books that... In this video, I'll share with... In this... Oh my goodness. <laughs>